so it's, it's great that we've been able to, to compete the way we have. You know, to have 10 plus guys in the gym is, is perfect. So, you know, we're still going through, getting through the kinks and, and uh, you know, working together to keep getting better. Coach, I'm sorry. How have they progressed in the second, first practice to the second one? I was very proud of them today. You know, after having a two a day, that you know, the morning comes pretty quick. You know, it's a little bit of a, a slow start as they go through the film session and go through the stretch. But, but you know, once that first minute of, you know, live practice began, they, they were competing and they were tough. And, and they showed a lot of mental toughness today. They talk about mental toughness. What are you looking for when you look at these practices? Well, those things is, is we have to put in, you know, you get three days to put in as much as you can to get ready to play a game. That's why you have to keep things simple as a coach. So it's just to keep the things that I'm stressing as a coach that we continue to get better at, and that's that's the mental part of it. What specifically are you looking for, Devin, as you go through this process in some of the? Well, as you know, what Devin is is he's a great shooter, and he hit some big shots today when we were when we were scrimmaging. And the thing with Devin too is is this uh, the defense and the terminology all those things that he has to get used to on the pro level um, his effort has been outstanding and as soon as he understands that the spacing and the ball pressure and, and those things he's going to be great tj has a lot of momentum coming from the end of last season you see that carry over a little bit definitely you know he keep, every day you see him he's he's more composed more confident you know he can really score that ball and and even today, like in the final minute, final two minutes, he's, he's hounding that basketball. And, and he, he's out there proving to, you know, showing everything he can on both sides of the ball. We know he can score. He's, he's really out there playing D, so you're going to like what you see. He had a lot of success in summer league last year, so what are you trying to get in his ear about to kind of keep on the upward swing? You know, just the things that we're, we're talking about with the team. It's, it's we're all here um, to be a starter in the NBA. Uh, to make an NBA roster, and he just needs to, to keep growing as a player. You know, he's going to be a second-year pro. So as he grows offensively on spacing, defensively on spacing, and, and, and pressure in the ball and rebounding, he can do a lot for us. Do you see improvement from Alec Brown since the first time you saw him in Bakersfield? I do. I see a lot of improvement. And, I, and Alec really improved from yesterday to today. Um, he, he, keeps, he continues to be patient when he catches the ball. He's, he's a pitch and pop big. You know, when he's patient and makes uh, makes those decisions, um, he's tough. Carlson's been out of the league a couple of years. Does he look like he still has the, the feel for everything? Does he, or does it look like a guy that's trying to find his way back? Yeah, you're right. And, and, and I know him very well as well, being overseas and, and been in the league, like you said. He looks great. I asked him even before we started practice, you know, how he was feeling because, he you know, he'd come off an injury and hadn't played for a while. But he's out there moving great, feeling great. And, and I think... Uh, his body hasn't felt like this in a long time, so he's really enjoying it. What has Mickey McConnell done at the age of 26 to keep him in the, in the mix and keeping that opportunity out there for him to, to make an NBA squad? He's got great experience at the point guard position. And what I mean by that is he has really good overseas experience. You know, played on a good college team, good high school team. He's got D-league experience, so but he's going to make everybody around him better. You know, you're going to see him kicking it ahead to TJ and Archie and Devin when they're running those wings. And, and, and those guys are going to feel his presence because they're going to get touches when he's on the floor. Can you tell that he's a coach's son and grandson when you see him on the floor? Definitely. Extremely coachable. Picks things up very quickly. Plays hard. You know, everything that, that you love about a player. Yesterday, Alex Len talked about practicing the corner three. Is that a shot you're actually going to let him take in a game? <laughs> Absolutely. I would, I would never have uh, any player on the floor saying that they can't shoot at a particular point. You know, we want all of our players to be able to shoot it at all spots on the floor, and we practice them. We practice more than corner threes. We practice them on the slots, on the top, on, on every possible situation to where he could get a shot. So now, is Alex Len going to be diving to the rim and creating and scoring on the block? Yes. Uh, but you may see him. You know, today he's hitting some mid-range jumpers, and you never can tell what you see. Has he, has he been working on anything besides the corner three, or just? Oh yeah, all of them. No corner threes. Like I said, three threes from the wing, threes from the top, trailing threes, pick and pop threes. You name it, we we put him through all of it. So, and and he's knocking down those shots. He's had days where he's had 70 out of 100. So those are those are big time numbers. What's Josh's role going to be with you? Because he seems like a different type of big than your other bigs. Yeah, he's a, you know Josh Harrelson's a is a is more of a pick and pop big as well. He's a guy that's going to be able to play inside and out. You know, I like his experience, like you mentioned before, playing with NBA teams. Um, but he is, and, and he just said he's like, Coach, what do you want me to do? And I, I said, Josh, I want you to I want you to run the floor. I want you to rebound, and everything else will fall into place. Justin or Archie, better finisher? Um, you know. 
Archie's as good as it comes, you know, when, when you talk about a guy going to that rim and the athletic ability there. So, um, you know, I, I love seeing Archie Goodwin with the ball in his hands, you know, 20, 25 feet away from that rim with one guy in front of him. That guy's in trouble. <laughs> You think you'll rotate lineups a lot up there, or do you have yeah, a plan you, to stick you, with one? Yeah, you'll see different guys, and I've been doing that through practice too, having different combinations of players, you know, play together. So when it gets to that case, but yeah, we'll we'll look at guys in different positions, um, different combinations. So yes, absolutely. Okay, thanks everybody. Thank you.